before we had antibiotics, scenes like the one above me were not uncommon. Who among us has not been helped by these marvelous drugs? But today, antibiotic resistance is rising and poses a huge threat to all of us. This year, more than 700,000 people will die in drug-resistant infections. That is four people during the time period of this speech. If we do not act, this number will grow to 10 million in 2050, surpassing cancer and taking a second place after cardiovascular diseases as the most common cause of death. Until 2050, the accumulated loss in GDP has been estimated to 100 trillion US dollars if we do not act. I'm working on the development of protein-based drugs made from enzymes with the ability to degrade the bacterial cell wall. These enzymes attack the bacteria from the outside, which makes them pop like a balloon. These enzymes can be found in various places in nature. For instance, human, we have them in our tears and our saliva. But of particular interest to us are enzymes derived from viruses. We want to take these enzymes and engineer them to get more drug-like properties. This could be, for instance, stability to be stored in a hospital, parastainen, you know, or change the specificity to attack only the bad bacteria and save our friends, or just make them simply more efficient. In order to do this, we are developing a highly sophisticated method to sort out the most efficient variants from a library of millions of variants. Right now, we are at the stage where we have all the modules and reagents ready. And with the Scholar Award, we can assemble them and start to screen for the most efficient enzyme variants that ultimately can become the microbials of tomorrow. There are good reasons to believe that we can reverse this threatening development. And I truly believe that we can solve antibiotic resistance. And I hope that our enzymes can be a part of that solution. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Johan. That was beautiful. Uh, jury, questions, please. Hi, yeah, great, great work. Um, how are you dealing with the current limitations of, um, of the delivery systems, the viral delivery systems and the immune response? And I think that's, that's you know, I know it's a step, step away and it, many people are dealing with it, but yeah, would love to hear about that. So what we are delivering are not the viruses themselves, but we are delivering the enzymes that the viruses are using to uh, lyse the bacteria. So delivery is just like uh, antibodies. Uh, so protein-based drugs, they must be injected. Some maybe in the future could be ingested, but it's, uh, uh, research hasn't uh, reached there yet. So right now we need to inject them. Great. Vince, go ahead. Yeah, just a quick question. So I was wondering, how would you produce the protein? I mean, do you have any plan? I mean, you want to produce Yes. So uh, these enzymes can actually be produced recombinantly. So recombinant production means that you are producing a protein inside of a bacteria. Now we say, OK, this is enzymes that kill bacteria, right? So, so it seems a bit strange. But depending on what bacteria you are going to attack and what bacteria you want to produce them in, you can actually do that. So it's recombinant production. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation, and I, I really love what you're doing. Antibiotic resistance is a serious problem. It is. So uh, I want to ask you, there are some other approaches also. Yeah. And why would the enzymes be the winning approach? Absolutely. Good so I, I don't want to say that enzymes would be the, the only approach. I think we need to attack this problem in all directions. That, that, that is, I, I really want to make that clear. Uh, but a good thing about enzymes, 
for instance, when it comes to resistance, is that when you take this into your body, they will eventually degrade. So normal antibiotics, you just pee them out. They end up in the nature where they're causing environments that are you know, good for the resistant bacteria to maintain their resistance. So that, that is one thing, for instance. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Very much. you. Round of applause.